Welcome to the Thriving Solopreneur Show, where you learn the stories and systems that have turned hardworking, self-employed business owners like yourself into highly successful, leisurely entrepreneurs. This show is dedicated to those who went into business for themselves because they had an idea or suggestion that ignited their passions to do more, to do it better, and to solve a problem in our community. Whether your business started in a basement, a garage, or at a kitchen table, this episode will bring to you a system, a tip, or an entrepreneur that has been where you are and can guide you to living the fulfilling life you desire for yourself. Here's your host and serial solopreneur, Janine Bolin. Hello, welcome to the Thriving Solopreneur Show. I'm your host, Janine Bolin, and I have with me today Mike Capuzzi. Mike is a publisher, author, and a coach for business owners looking to get to the next level in their business. Throughout his 25 years in marketing and 21 years as a consultant, Mike's innovative use of high-impact marketing has consistently surpassed expectations and outcomes of traditional marketing concepts, as well as business strategies that his clients brought to the table. In 20 in 2019, Mike launched Bite Size Books, a new publishing venture founded on his proven formula for creating short, helpful books, also known as Shooks, for Main Street business owners. Shooks are ideal for local business owners who are looking to increase their level of authority, as well as providing their people with information in these bite-sized books. Mike is also the host of the Main Street Author Podcast, where he interviews business owners and book experts on real-world, proven ways to leverage your book and position yourself and promote your business. So check out MikeCapuzzi.com if you think he makes a great guest. Once that is written, published, at least one printed book, MikeCapuzzi.com forward slash guest, so that you can introduce yourself to him and get on his podcast. Welcome to the show, Mike. Great to see you. Hey, Janine. Good to see you again, too. So thank you. No problem. Just wanted to let you know, I am so sold on the system that Mike has for the show. I signed a contract with this man, like right off the bat, four books. Let's go. Let's make this happen. I'm on book number three with this man. So just want to let you know, yeah, I'm a rabid fan. Okay. I'm not going to say I'm your number one, but I'm going to say I'm I'm a rabid fan of this guy. And so I've had him on the show multiple times, but I thought it was really important to bring him back, especially since I'm seeing a lot of changes in the business dynamic of what's happening. And yes, there is still, even with all the changes that we have experienced over the last few years, it still is imperative that business owners have their shook or a short, helpful book that's helping their clients. So Mike, I'd love for you to just talk talk a little bit about what got you started into Bite Size Books and then some of the things that you've seen happen with the program. Well, Janine, again, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. I also appreciate the opportunity to have worked with your on with your previous two <laughs> shooks and now your third and, and soon to be fourth shook. Mm-hmm. Um, but as you and I were talking about before we jumped on the call, um, you know, I'm believe it or not, I'm a, an engineer from Penn State University. So that's the I'm wearing the colors today. And I did engineering for a number of years after college uh, before I got into a more marketing oriented, technically uh, marketing for technically uh, a software company. So more of a technical role, but still marketing oriented. Um, So I've got an engineer brain, I've got a marketing brain. And when those two combine, you get some neat things that happen. uh, One of which is what you mentioned, a a shook, a short, helpful book. Um, So I'm a firm believer, as I know you are, in the power of, of books to help people, but also books to position the author as an expert authority. Uh, we've got hundreds and hundreds of books over to my shoulder here. Uh, many, many of yours are in there. Right. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, books are powerful. Even in the 21st century, people are still reading books. Yes, there's now more digital books and audio books, but books are still a very powerful type of media, especially for business owners. Now, one dynamic, and I think most of us would agree, is that most people's attention spans have gotten shorter. We've got too many you know, things vying for our attention, kids, gadgets, whatever. So this idea came to me, like, why have a typical 300-page book, which even though I love to read, Janine, I struggle these days. I, I, right now, I've probably got three or four open books next to my bed. I, I start them with the best of intention. And then, you know, 150 pages in, you're like, oh, my gosh, you know, when's it going to end? Um, so I, I combined this idea of why not create content in, in bite-sized chunks, um, shorter books that are highly focused, uh, combine that with a, a 
proven marketing formula for response. So, uh, you know, how do you get people to respond to things? And then really combine that with traditional book publishing. So, you know, it's shorter content, more focused content, layered with proven direct response marketing techniques, layered with what we consider some unique design techniques, how the, how the book, how the shook looks, you have the end result as a shook. And uh, as you mentioned, they work great for not only local business owners, but folks like yourself and myself who have a, you know, a larger reach around the world. So that's, that's sort of the, the in, you know, in the nutshell history of um, how Shooks came about. Well, one of the things I just wanted to share was how my business almost tripled. And sure, I was doing other strategies, but I had learned those strategies from you. And I had been marketing my business in a very specific way. And then when I got the shook and started marketing uh, it in those strategies you and I talked about, it was great. But one of the things I wanted to let people know, I'm a self-published author and have been since 2005. So the landscape of self-publishing has t drastically been altered over the last two decades. And one of the things I loved about working with you was the fact that I still keep the intellectual property rights. It's still all mine. And yet at the same time, basically, I have you as a consultant and a buddy that helps me drive forward and drive traffic where I need it to go. And you're also doing your part with me. So people talk all the time now about how important collaboration is and how important it is to have strategic partners. And I just wanted to let folks know if you need a strategic partner and you want to write that book you have had – in your head, your entire life, Mike is the guy that can help you get that out and published and then drive clients to your business, whatever that happens to be. So I just wanted to plug that in there uh, because of that. So talk to us a little bit. You and I are both scientists. You're the engineer. I'm the analytical biochemist. To say that we are systems heavy is like a joke, right? You know, you and I both have our systems. So what are some systems that you can help recommend to people to get rolling with their own shook? Like they say, well, I'm wanting to write a story, but I really don't know what to write about. So how do you coach some of your authors? Yeah. So the, the very first step, Janine, is first of all, we're talking nonfiction business books. That's, that's the only type we, you know, help our authors with. So if, if you're looking to do fiction or an autobiography, we're not, you know, the choice for you. But if you're looking to craft a book that helps uh, a, a very specific reader with a very specific problem or with a goal that that, that reader has, um, then we are your, 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 your self-publishing partner. Because you're right. I mean, it's still self-publishing, you mean, but it's sort of a hybrid. Um, you, you know, when you, when you self-publish, you have so much more control uh, versus, you know, the traditional publisher. And you're right. The publishing business has completely transformed over the last decade. And for most people, going the self-publishing route or the hybrid where you're working with someone like myself, that's a, a fine choice, especially if you're a local business owner. You don't need the, you know, the, the reach of a, a traditional publisher. So the first thing, Jeannie, when we work with a, you know, the first system, if you will, it's always about you know, getting clear in your own head what it is you're looking to accomplish as the author but equally important, what you're looking to help readers and very specific readers, like, you know, this, we really drill down, like, who are you trying to target with this book? And, you know, what are you trying to get them to do after they read it? So I'd say the first system is getting very clear. And the beauty of short, helpful books, Shooks, is that while we have a ton of information, you know, and all of us probably help our you know, clients and customers with a, a lot of different things, a shook forces you to be very focused. So even though you may have a lot of things you do, rather than one, write one long book, you know, how to be a solopreneur, for example, you can slice and dice that topic up. You know, how to go from a job to a solopreneur it might be the first shook and then how to, you know, how to get started as a solopreneur or whatever. So it's this idea of sort of this bite sized content where you can get very focused. Therefore, the reader says, geez, that book is for me. I want to read it. So I'd say like, a, you know, the first system is really getting clear on who you're targeting, how you're going to help them, and then what you as the author want to accomplish. And that's one of the things that I absolutely loved is you started like on Main Street, like you have your Main Street Authors podcast, and you were just trying to help brick and mortar businesses really extend their reach. And one of the things that's so important 
I know for the people I help out is that we're not trying to be uh, the next Oprah Winfrey or Wayne Dyer or something like that. We're just trying to find that niche that is all our own, that we can help those people. And the Shook does that very, very effectively, even better than the way that I was running my uh, publishing uh, house at the time. And so I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that on the PowerPoints that you literally have throughout your Shook that guide people not only to your website, but then there's an interaction. So they talk about, oh, when you market, you have to give your people an experience. Talk about what the Shook brings to the reader as an experience. Yeah. And that's, you know, again, great question. Um, so first of all, the first experience is focus content, right? It's about having, you know, helping someone with a very specific challenge or issue or problem or helping them achieve a very specific goal. I mean, it, those tend to be the things you want to learn more about something. So the, the reader um, is getting what they're looking for. And it is niche, right? We're not trying to be the end all be all thing. So for example, I'm working with a real estate agent in Montana. And I actually, I haven't even shared this with you, Janine. We're looking to start a series of shooks. Um, we call them the dream destination guides. So the first one is a gentleman, actually a couple in uh, Whitefish, Montana. So they're real estate professionals in Whitefish. Whitefish is a dream destination. It's a ski area, et cetera, beautiful area. Um, his shook is almost done. His, he's going to see the first version tomorrow, as a matter of fact. But he could have written a book, Moving to the West, or he could have written a book, a shook, you know, Moving to Montana. But no, he went narrow. He went very focused, Moving to whitefish. And that will not be for everybody, but it will be for the person who wants to move to that area. And they will definitely, definitely want that book. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, Janine, I'd say that's, I'd like to say it's unique, but it really isn't because, you know, uh, the days of invention are long gone. But I would say many, many book authors get this wrong, uh, including a lot of smart ones that should know better, which is they write a great book, it helps people, et cetera, but they don't connect the dots to what we call the next step. So you read a book and you're like, okay, I love what Janine has to say. Now what? And if your book does not give very explicit directions on what to do next, we literally require our, we don't require, but we suggest right. all of our authors have a next step chapter, um, which gives those readers, again, it's not going to be everybody, but if they got what you had to say in your book, they're, you know, they're jiving with you, they like what you have to say. They're going to want to know that path forward. So you need to give them that path forward. And then you need to give, even within that, a couple of different ways to connect with you. So in my Shooks, the, the primary thing I want to do is have interested readers um, reach out to me to schedule a discovery call. We call it a Shook strategy session, which is we just get on a Zoom and we talk about you know, your ideas. That's my primary call to action. We call it the active call to action you know, a small percentage of people will take that. A little bit bigger percentage of people will take what we call the passive call to action, which is, hey, I love what Mike has to say. I'm not quite ready to get on the phone with them, but I want to stay connected to them. So we offer a pathway for them to give us their name and email in exchange for some more helpful information. And now they're on a pathway, uh, hopefully, to, you know, connect with us in the future. So that's a big, you know, sort of aha you know, is to offer book readers these pathways to connect with you. And as a business owner of any kind, no matter what your, your business is, there are questions that your people ask you over and over and over. And the shook I'm currently writing with Mike right now is the one where I got so tired of people asking me this question that I ended up making a short course, created a website, and that still wasn't helping. I'm now writing a shook based on these top three questions. And I'm like, from now on, I, the pathway is they will not talk to me until they complete mm -hmm. those three yeah. questions. Yeah. And so this is another way that yeah. a shook can help a solopreneur or a multi million dollar business owner to get rid of all those questions that are asked of you over and over and over. You give them the answers and then you give them those uh, next steps of now that that's answered for you, if you have additional things <laughs> that you need to go through. So that's another thing that Mike can help you with is how to trademark your answers in a beautiful package that will move you forward with that, right? 
And, and Janine, that's a great point. And I'd say, you know, there's a good percentage of our authors who have that exact challenge or, you know, that, that, that exact opportunity, which is if you're answering the same things over and over again, um, it's a much better idea to put them down, give them some thought, because as you know, Janine, as you work through the process, even though you think you know the answers because you repeat them over and over, once you're forced to sort of put a pen to paper, mm -hmm. um, you refine it. You, you find little, and then working together, we ref, hey, you know, maybe it's a better way to say this, et cetera. But yeah, that's a great strategy. It's something we recommend all the time. And then having a book, a shook, that's you know, a, a paperback, which is the kind mm -hmm. we do, uh, is you know one of the media having it as a download or a Kindle book is another having it as an audio book. So you're hitting all the types of media that people are consuming these days: real books, eBooks, audio books. And then my my favorite part is if you are answering questions that is industry based, then Mike and his team also have the ability for you to whitelist your book so that other people can do that. And when I heard that, I'm like, oh, man, this is perfect. I have got to let more people know about what Mike is doing and how he's setting that up. So if you don't mind, describe that just a little bit with people for people what you do with that. So if you're a thought leader, you have some sort of connection where people are following you um, and, you, you know, the idea is, Janine, you craft a shook, you the expert, craft a shook that can then be licensed by other folks. So, for example, I work with an elder law attorney. She's written four or five shooks already. So you're, you're catching up. You're not there yet, Janine. You're right. <laughs> um, but she has her elder law practice right? Her day-to-day her -day practice, but she also has a coaching group for other elder law attorneys. So she wrote three shooks, two on Alzheimer's disease, one on dementia, and she licenses those shooks to be customized by other elder law attorneys uh, around the country. So it's an area exclusive program. So that's a very unique type of uh, way to leverage good content. It's a great way to leverage a book. And it's, it's a very profitable opportunity for the thought leader. It's also a great opportunity for the, the uh, end user because they get to have a, a really well-written shook where they can customize it and put their name on it and use it. So that's, that's our, our, we call that our Main Street Publisher Program. And that is where, for me and other people who have written as many books as I have, I just let them know, look, if you can start getting your stuff licensed, then yet another revenue stream. And at the same time, you're doing what you've wanted to do, because most of the people I interact with, they really just want to serve humanity and help make their lives a little bit easier than others. And so for those types of folks, that is a wonderful program. Yeah. So anyway, I'd like to go ahead and wrap this up. Anything else we need to hear about from you, like... Talk to us real quick about the 100-page book. You know, you flashed it real fast. Uh, in, in that 100-page book is like, it, it's exactly what you can do with your yeah. own books. And that's what I love is it's a perfect example of that. But what else do you recommend? How else do people get a hold of you? So, Janine, I'd say the first thing is if, you, if you're currently helping people or you have an idea to help people, uh, all you need is a 100-page book. All right, so that's why I, I, I wrote it. Um, it, it. It was an Amazon bestseller for like seven months, a uh, number one bestseller. Um, so it, it, we sold thousands of copies because it just resonated with people. And again, you know, it's this type of book. So if you're writing some other type of book, that's fine. But if you're looking for the kind of books that you and I like to write, which are short, helpful books, uh, the 100 page book is a great, uh, uh, a great read. As a matter of fact, Janine, I'll, I'll um, I, I have a online version of it um, along with um, uh, another book, another shook that your, your listeners can get to. If they go to mikecapuzzi.com, I'm looking at my notes here. If they go to mikecapuzzi.com forward slash gifts, so that's gifts, G-I-F-T-S, uh, plural, um, they can read the 100-page book online. And you're right. I give the exact formula, everything you need to do. If you want to work with me, just reach out to me and let me know. We can schedule a call. But you know, I'm giving you the resources to go do it yourself if you want to do it yourself. And so thank you so much for taking time with us today. I know you and I kind of had to throw this meeting together real fast, but I thought it was too important to, you know, uh, kind of wait on that. So thank you so much for being with us today. Hey, Jeanine, I always appreciate talking to you. 
And so this is Janine Bolin with the Thriving Solopreneur Show. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Mike, and we will be glad to assist you with what we've done, how we've run our businesses, how we're living our dream life. And we live our dream life, but we fit our business into the cracks of that life. <laughs> That's why we work from home. Anyhow, have a great day today. Keep your feet firmly on the ground, but don't forget to keep reaching for those stars. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to the Thriving Solopreneur Show. We hope you found this episode helpful and uplifting. Be sure to visit us at JanineBolin.com forward slash podcast, where you'll find a library of videos, books, and podcast programs to guide you to the future you envision for yourself. We also ask that you visit our sponsor, The8Gates.com, for the books and online courses that share with you the debt-free living lifestyle that allows business owners like yourself to flourish. Have a great day and see you next time.